Hi Ashok, this is Joy. Thanks for your time. My pleasure, Joy. I have understood about the project. Tell me how I can help. So, I wanted to get a quick overview of the energy scenario in the country and our role in it. Great. I think it's a good step to start with your basics right before you move on. This way, you will also be able to make more informed choices in your recommendations. Let me start by bringing up some facts about the overall energy scenario in India. You know that energy is required for growth of the economy. India's economy is expected to grow by 7 to 8 percent. India's population is expected to touch 1.32 billion and urbanization level is expected to touch 43 percent by 2020. Energy consumption is measured in tons, equivalent to million tons of oil. India's energy barrels per capita at 345 kgs per capita is low via V global average of 1624 kgs. By 2020, India's energy per capita is expected to touch 722 kgs per capita. The total energy demand in 2002 was 345 million tons of oil equivalents. In 2010, the demand will go up to 547 million tons of oil equivalent, which is about 50% increase in the last eight years. The total energy demand in 2020 will rise up to 882 million tons of oil equivalent, which is about 61.2% increase in the last 10 years. Much of this demand will be met by coal-related energy production. Coal produced 185 million tons of oil equivalents of energy in 2002. In 2010, it will need to produce 281 million tons of oil equivalent energy. By 2020, the coal energy production will have to rise to 397 million tons of oil equivalent. This is an increase of about 41%. Similarly, oil produced 175 million tons of oil equivalents of energy. By 2020, we will need to produce 263 million tons of oil equivalents of energy from oil. In 2010, the contribution of gas-based energy was 59 million tons of oil equivalents. In 2020, the production will need to increase to 170 million tons of oil equivalent. And then, there are other sources of energy like solar energy and wind energy. These unconventional forms of energy need to 51 million tons of oil equivalents by 2020. So coal-based electricity will get even more popular in the next 10 years? Yes. Let me share with you another projection for the year 2012. This pie chart diagram is a projection for 2012. You can see that nuclear energy will contribute 4.6% of the total energy production. Hydro-based electricity will contribute 29.2% and thermal power plants will contribute the maximum, that is 66.2%. Kunal, you rightly pointed out that thermal power plants will be the biggest contributors to the overall energy production in India. It is clear that the thermal power plants will contribute in a big way to the economy and the country. So, taking this importance into consideration, can you share some facts about the state of thermal power plants in India? <laughs> 